All right, welcome to Let's Talk Wrestling with New Entry Wrestling Podcast. So, ever freaking The Rock and taking Cody Rose's spot at WrestleMania. Everybody's mm-hmm. going crazy. Everybody's saying F The Rock, F, F Roman, F WWE. <laughs> that what was the whole purpose of Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble? Pointing at Royal Rum- at Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble and, and just not to have everything just crapped on him. Yeah. What's the story behind it? Everybody's trying to figure out why. There's people saying that just leave it alone. You know, we're we're bound get it. We're bound to get this anyways. So let's just get it over with. There's people saying no. Screw that. We don't want this because we don't want to see Roman as champion another year. You know. Yeah. And then there's some people where it's just like. What if it's a work? What if they're trying to pull the Daniel Bryan kind of thing? Uh, but it's too soon for that because it's just like happened, you know? It was like, I don't know. I personally feel like me, uh, I think it's a work. If it's not, the only thing I got to say bad about it is that Cody Rhodes should have... Whose idea was it to say what Cody Rhodes said? Was that all on him? If that was all on him, then that's his fault because he should have said Seth was right. So I'm going to go after him. You know, now because of what he said, I don't remember the exact words, but he basically said the way we took it was oh, I'm not going to go after your belt because your cousin told me not to, who is my boss now. Wow. Yeah. You know. So, everybody's crazy about this. Everybody's going crazy. And uh, what's your thoughts on this? And besides, besides, okay, even if you're not happy about it, that you're getting this match ever, um, is there anything about it like you're looking forward about this match or is just like seriously something that you're not like, why are we getting this? Well, it's funny how people say that like they're angry about it, but at the same time, like I think for the last couple of years, during a t- during Roman Reigns reign as champion, we would say, What if it what if it's Roman Reigns versus The Rock? Right. So for me it's like that story where like thing and when they finally get it, they're like, What the heck? you know? Mm-hmm. But that's why yeah, it's at the expense of Cody, but the thing is, like, with WWE, like you say, you never know. They always trying to swerve you somehow, where, like, yeah, it's The Rock now, but what if he gets injured? Right. Be Cody again. Or right. Damien cashes in on on somebody. You know, he cashes, you know, I, know, I, I always go for the Damien thing. But, like, we, people have been talking about The Rock versus Roman Reigns since, the, since Roman Reigns' reign began. Right. Hey, who's the real head of the table? My, my issue I, is people were saying like, oh, we've been wanting this match since WrestleMania exactly. 32. I was like, no, we haven't. <laughs> maybe maybe like WrestleMania I, like 36. That was 37. always a, honestly, that was always a dream match. But it was one of those dream matches that I always thought that it was never going to happen. Like Sting and The Undertaker. Yeah. yeah. Like oh it's a good thought, but they're like oh it's never gonna happen. Yeah, now you're like so, but that's like, why I, that's why I'm happy yeah. about the match because it's like oh we're actually getting happy, you know it's actually gonna happen. But yes, the fact that it's in the expense of Cody Rhodes, where it's like at the same time it was just like they should have not done that. Um, yeah. and also to for to be fair, to be fair, who said that this match is a, a like official? Yeah. So everybody's being worked up for something that's not even like announced. The Rock you know, just showed up. Yeah. <laughs> How do you we know, know it's not for Elimination Chamber? Yeah. And you know Dirty B would be, and then they're, they're going to Australia, so they're like, "Hey, we want the Australia crowd to be like, what's up?'" You know? Yeah. Or what, what the Rock says the next week, I'll see you at the Chamber or whatever in a couple weeks. Right. I'll see you at the Chamber. Like what? They're not Who doing said WrestleMania? It's for the title. <laughs> yeah. What if Cody meant like, oh, I'm stepping aside for now, but at WrestleMania, I'm going after Roman after this match, you know? And to be, you never know. And here's the other thing Cody Rhodes, why does he need to win at WrestleMania? 
that's the other thing. Where his why does his story need to end at WrestleMania? Yeah. Why can't it end at you know at SummerSlam? You know the Great American Bash. <laughs> well, that's not NXT now. But regardless, it's like why does that have to be a WrestleMania? Yeah. You know, the grandest stage of them all, I guess. It has right. to be there, but true. At the same time, you're like, uh. What true, if he wanted true. like? What if he? What if he wanted that backlash in France? Yeah, I like, feel like if sweet. if you're gonna be in an area like, I don't know. I feel because it's it's part of the story, and that's why it has to go that way. And I know, so it's like, why is the Rock facing Roman? Like, what what's the purpose? <laughs> you just like the Rock just shows up and say, "I'm gonna face Roman at WrestleMania," yeah. and I feel like they just they, that's why everybody's upset. It's just like they just did it wrong. Yeah. And but again, I guess if we're gonna get this match, we're gonna get this match. If we're not gonna get this match, and it's like you guys just like acted everybody showed all I gotta say, there is a lot of TikTokers, YouTubers that I don't wanna say I'm I don't really like hmm. I'm not a huge fan, but it's just like I do like their I do like their videos. They showed a lot of their true colors to the point where I'm just like, okay, you're that kind of fan? Okay. So I was like, I kind of like stepped away from all that stuff Mm. where it's just like, oh, this is where it's like, if you're starting your own thing, just, just focus on yourself Mm. because yeah, that, that, that when they, the whole, that Friday, I saw all these TikTokers that follow wrestling and everything they had to say, I was just like, man, I lost a lot of respect for you guys. Wow. A lot. And it was just like, they're going so crazy and upset where it's just like, it's one match. One match. Over what? how many that we're probably going to get? Probably like six, 12 to 16. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're complaining about one match, one match that's gonna go in, that could that's gonna main event WrestleMania night two. Don't show up. If you go to a concert, right, and they're having five bands, and out of those five bands, you only like three of them. Are you gonna go for the sh- whole show, or are you gonna find out what time is this band gonna start so I can make sure I show up for that for that you know band mm-hmm. to see them yeah. play and all that. Yeah. So, just do that for WrestleMania. If we do end up getting Roman and The Rock, just leave. Leave before the show. That's that's really good a show, though. You know? So, I don't know. But personally, if we get to see... If I get to... The fact that I'm going to see The Rock either live on pay-per-view or at the show, that makes me happy. Because that's something I could check off my bucket list. Something that I thought I would never be able to see. I'm about to see a dream match, bro. Rather, if I see it live or on television, we are going to see a dream match. Yeah. And people are complaining about that. We're going to see Cody, if we do get it, we're going to see Cody Rose versus Seth Rollins 3 for the world title. That was a match that was supposed to happen. Was it supposed to happen last year or this year? I don't remember. I think it was supposed to happen this year. No, sorry. It was last year. Last year, they were going to... have both titles uh, separated. I don't remember how they were going to do that last year, but remember how they were going to take one of the titles off Roman? Yeah. And they never, they never, yeah, yeah, Seth Rollins was either Seth Rollins or Cody Rhodes was going to do it. And they never, you know, it never happened. It's like, ah, it'll just be a new title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All together. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I'm like, because there's people that'll be like, oh, I never, I'll never watch JV again. Like, you'll come back. Come on. You've been saying that like five minutes. I, I, I said that once with Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Now I'm like, I'm still here. <laughs> you know, I'm still watching it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, don't watch it then. I'll still watch it. It's crazy because it's like, this is the same sport. I know things have changed, but it's just like, it's because they're appealing to the younger generation, the next generation, not. The people that's been watching since the Attitude Era. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not, not the same. yeah, it's not for us anymore. No, it's for the next generation. It's for the ones that you're able to. It's because uh, you know, 
We we live in an era where you could take your kids to these things now. Yeah. So even in the attitude you could take your kids, but now it's more family. Yeah, you're not gonna be like, hey, let's show some random stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh the way. What's up, Rocky <laughs> Winner? I think everyone now is a logo Paul fan because of what he tweeted. What did he tweet? Ever you got Twitter. What did he tweet? Logan Paul? Do we follow him? <laughs> I don't know. Let me check. Let me check. You um what do you why will you say something crazy or what? Let me look him up because I I don't follow I don't think we follow him. Whoop Logan that Paul. trick. Whoop that trick. Well, it became the prime sports drink? No. We want Cody? Oh, oh yeah, Logan Paul. Oh, oh, that tweet. Yeah, we want Cody. Eighty-eight thousand five hundred likes. He talks about his podcast, and that's it. <laughs> he talks about his prime drink podcast. Everybody's doing that. We want Cody hashtag. Hashtag we want Cody. Ever do a hashtag we want Cody? What right now? Yeah, on Twitter. Dog. Or X. X. Oh, it's trending too. <laughs> there we go. We're we're on X. We're doing it. I know X. Every time I hear the word X, I think about that movie with Pearl. Oh, um, what, what movie? Pearl. I think it's called X. Oh, is it the one where they're like? It's like a horror movie. Yeah. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> It's a good movie. It's really gross. Very, very gross. All right, well, we want Cody. Chant is trending, but Cody Rhodes. So you tell me, okay, so what if what if we get Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, is that going to be the main event for WrestleMania Night 1? I think it should be. I think it should. If not, like what what's going on? Yeah, and then the co main co main co main event for WrestleMania Night One should be Seth and Cody Rhodes, Rhea Ripley, and Becky. Night two should be uh, Bailey versus Eel Sky, Roman and The Rock. Okay. <laughs> Rocky Bye. winner. What were you saying? Rocky winner? Rocky winner said, what if it's triple threat? Um, I, me and I ever had that discussion earlier. I think it could have been a triple threat. I feel like there's I, still a way. I mean, that way you have three gen, three different generations for WWE. Yeah. But also like, it was the last time The Rock wrestled, and he 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 kind of be. I think if there's a triple threat, I think they'll carry the uh, the Rock in that match. You know, Roman's gonna carry The Rock in the singles match. But I mean, the only full timer in that triple threat triple, triple threat would be Cody Rhodes. Yeah, and he could win the title. Yeah, but like, hmm. I've been saying this: the fate of uh, WrestleMania Forty should be should have uh should be a triple threat match. Yeah, see, everybody gets what they want. You get, yeah, you and, then the it, and, then, uh, and then and then like the Rock will get hurt less, and he won't have to do much, and then the Rock would just be there when needed, you know. Yeah, and bro, there, there could be a spot where the Rock could go through an announce table or something, and then the Rock gets carry away, comes back for the ending. Having think you know, have everybody thinking that he's gonna win, and then nope. Cody, Cody gets the W. Go. Yeah, I can see that. That'd be kind of sweet, actually. Yeah, Rocky yeah, said cause... it protects the Rock from getting injured. So if they do and a triple protects threat, Roman from getting pinned too. Yeah. Yeah, because the Rock could take the loss, and we could build, and then we get Roman versus uh, Cody. At Backlash for France. I'll be in France, Francis. 
But it, yeah, I mean, we don't know people. Cra- it's just crazy. It's not, no, my bad. Go ahead. It's not like people right now. Like, I, it's still two months away. You never know what happens. That's the crazy part. It's like two we months. You still have like, elimination chamber. You still got you still got eight raw. You pretty much got like seven or eight raws. You got like seven or eight smackdowns. You know, like tomorrow's raw. That's like what one, and then there's like two more or three more this month, and then another two or three or four March, and then a couple one more in April probably. I don't even know. I gotta follow my calendar. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's so much time. Like, what if the Rock gets injured during training? What if he says something stupid on the way to WrestleMania and he gets Whoa, canceled? That's been happening a lot. That's been happening a lot. What do you, who knows? He might be involved in whatever. No, I don't, no we're not doing that. We get sued for that. Yeah. No but, defamation here, bro. <laughs> anyways, but before we wrap this up, final thoughts on The Rock and Roman. I think it's exciting. We've been asking for this for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I hope we do get it. But I hope there's a way to put Cody in there. Either Roman fights Cody on night one or night two, and then he fight. Uh, you know, what I mean, like uh, Reigns fights The Rock at night one, and he fights Cody at night two, or the Chamber, or The Rock just says that oh, we'll just do it at the Chamber because it's an. I. But I, I don't know. That's what I think. Yeah. Here's my thing. Why can we get The Rock versus Roman at SummerSlam? You had it at a stadium. You had it in the stadium, in the same stadium that you had at WrestleMania 23. The sta- same stadium that you had WrestleMania 3. You had SummerSlam there last year. Why can't you mm. build... That's make this the biggest summer of the you know, uh, pay-per-view event, the biggest party of the summer, whatever. It's SummerSlam. For a championship or without for not without, a championship? Both. Championship so you think, without. If you, so you, you say... Not, not everything has to happen at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Not not everything. That's what SummerSlam is for. And it's in the yeah. summer where people it's can travel four. more. Yeah. People are willing yeah. to travel more in the summer, even though flights are more expensive, but people have more <laughs> vacation time to go. So are you saying that like you think Cody... Sh- should face Roman at the WrestleMania. Cody wins, and then Roman kind of does his part-time thing, and then he then he's like confronts The Rock finally. The fact that The Rock and Roman, <laughs> they it doesn't really need a build-up, but they could have just had this moment, Rock and Cody. It could have just been Rock and Cody, and then next year's WrestleMania is gonna be Rock versus Roman, or it could have been SummerSlam. Mm. Okay. You know, SummerSlam, we're going to be here. We're going to be, you know, uh, what's it called? What is that pay-per-view? Uh, the one that they're going to have in German, Germany. Bash at, Bash at Berlin. Could have Bash it in Berlin. that one. That'd be kind of nice. You know what I mean? International. Yeah. yeah. it's uh, it, That could have been like one of those like big pay-per-views where it's like, they could have just made a fake pay-per-view. Rock, a pay-per-view, just The Rock versus Roman. You could just have three, four matches. Call it like, what about bad blood? Bring that back. Is it blood? Bad yeah, blood. That blood. Yeah, <laughs> they could have brought. They could have done something. Yeah. But uh, final thoughts. I'm happy, but at the same, you know, just because again, I'm gonna, we're gonna get to see the Rock, bro. Like I grew up with the Rock. Yeah. You know, the Rock is the reason why I'm flipping through the channel, and I see the Rock, and everything. Triple H. In the same rink. How am I going to say I'm not happy about that? Yeah. You know? I It sucks. But again, I'm not mad about it. I'm just mad of whose idea is a booker. If I was a booker, right? And and what just happened? I'll be like, who the hell told, told Cody to say that? I would have been mad at that. I would have been like, no. After what Seth Rollins just said? You're going after the world title because of what Seth said. He's telling the truth. You just said, uh, uh, my mom said I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? And it, in the face expression that we, he made when he saw the hu- the rock came for a hug, he didn't want to hu- hug the rock. No. He understood that it's business. He knows it's not personal. He hopes it's not personal. Yeah. It's business, but it sucks. That That's the only thing I'm mad about. I'm not mad about the rock bearing, the whole bearing. Bro, relax. It's sports entertainment. Entertain. And if the you fact get, that. And my bad. Let me just say one thing. If you're going to get buried, 
You're just going to let somebody bury you or are you going to dig your way out? Dig your way out. There you go. Cody I would Rhodes, say, though, dig your way out. Yeah. I would say, though, like, it did bring a lot of attention. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Yes. They want, a, they want like, hey, The Rock, which owns a UFO or XFO, now he's a director TKO, just kind of mm-hmm. like, in, I think we talked, I talked about it earlier during the, the, the NXT show, where like, people feel like, oh, he's, because he's an executive now, he could just insert himself anytime he wants, you know? Right. It's kind of like that boss thing, you know? <laughs> like, I'm the boss, I'm one of the bosses, I, I you know why I want to be in this match? I mean, The Rock is a heel, that'd be kind of, he, he could play into the heel move yeah. again. Like, hey, I, I run TKO. I'm a director here. If I want to be in a match with my cousin, I could do that if I want. Because I run the show. Yeah. And it, it's, that's how they said it went down. Like, The Rock said, hey, I want to face Roman Reigns. And TKO's like, the exact other people, which don't know nothing about wrestling, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those are like corporate stooges from Endeavor. Uh, they don't know anything. It's yeah, like how WCW was. The Rock was. knows the business. So like, he could like time be, more, yeah. yeah, he could, this could be a swerve. And like you said yeah. about the like the buzz that it got, the reaction, you yeah. know, maybe that was the whole deal of it. It could be a swerve. Because I think the Rock, the Rock is not a dumb person. He knows like, no. hey, this is going to be really unpopular. Like, the Rock, he's been in wrestling for so look, long. Look, you just said it. The Rock is not a stupid person. Look where he's freaking at. Look where he's at from the moment yeah. he stepped in the ring. Yeah. And, and fast forward to now, he is not a stupid man. But some, sometimes he makes mistakes. But the problem with his mistakes is that The Rock likes to cover up his mistakes. and But at least he tries to fix it when he covers it up. Yeah. But it's just sometimes it's like, hey, man, sometimes in a while, maybe just just fix it in front of us. Yeah. There's some things I'm pretty sure you can't fix in front of us. But once in a while, because it just makes you look like a guy who doesn't really care. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I'm excited for the match, uh, but it sucks about Cody. But, I mean, if we're going to get Cody Rhodes, first of all, we're going to get Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. But people are concerned because what's going on with Seth Rollins? And that's the other thing that people keep forgetting. Because it's like, yes, we understand. But the thing is, we have an injured champion, Seth freaking Rollins. So if we're going to get Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, I'm all in for it. That's awesome. But what if Seth Rollins is hurt? Who's going to take his spot? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And CM Punk is hurt. So, I'm pretty sure, you you know, you got CM Punk out. You got Seth Rollins, who's almost out. You know, he's kind of out. And then, so it's like, you got two of your biggest stars. So, it's like, yeah, The Rock had to pitch, you know, get in. So, maybe there's, maybe, I just think with the whole Rock, the Rock getting involved, it's just too soon. You know, but any 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 things you got to say before we head out? Nah, man. Just like I'm interested to see where this goes. Obviously, I don't like social media as much. Where I'm like, oh, this person like doesn't like this. Like whatever, man. Right. It's your opinion. Everybody's opinion. I mean, everybody could be like, hey, I yeah, don't like it. You don't like of, it. You, know. you don't have to watch WrestleMania. I'm gonna still watch it. I don't exactly. care. <laughs> don't watch it if you don't like it. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate everybody that tuned in. Vengeance Day was a fantastic match, and um, yeah, Joe, sure, yeah. So, all right. Well, this is it. Let's Talk Wrestling, New Entry Wrestling Podcast, Ian, Ever, and we are out. Bye, guys.